Former gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams meeting again with Hollywood executives today. She is on the West Coast hoping to ease tensions following the state's new abortion law and hoping to keep more productions rolling in Georgia. Faith Abube sat down with Abrams, who says the first round of meetings were, quote, incredibly productive. And we were able to secure the first interview with Stacey Abrams after those meetings here in Hollywood. She tells us that it was incredibly productive. It was a packed room. They had a lot of people, the show executives, the show runners, even people in payroll were in that room. She says her message for them to stay and fight is getting through, but it's far from over. Take a listen and more of our conversation. There's a great deal of disconcertion and a great deal of panic. Uh, they haven't had a clear sense of what the governor intends to do. Uh, they feel a bit disrespected by his glib denial and denouncement of their star property, which are the actors. Describe your role in that room. Were you representing the state of Georgia and answering questions? Or what, what were you doing? I'm a Georgian. I am not the leader of the state of Georgia, and I'm very clear about that. But I am someone who sat at the table in 2008 and helped move that legislation through Ways and Means. I'm someone who worked closely with Governor Deal and with the Department of Economic Development to maintain not only the entertainment industry, but to also think about how we built an infrastructure that let this tax credit work. Some have accused you of using this trip as a partisan self-promotion uh, since you don't hold any public office in Georgia. How would you respond to that? Democrats and Republicans are employed by the entertainment industry. Democrats and Republicans rely on the income from their small businesses, the cafes, the Airbnbs, from the way they have built their economies from the entertainment industry. I'm here as a Georgian. And for more on how day two went, be sure to head on over to our website, 11alive.com. That's just one of the top stories we're following for you on this Wednesday morning.